This is a new era now. This is um, a, a modern, a modern king in waiting with, with a very modern bride. She's so modest in herself. She'd just be going through day to day life thinking it's a normal uh, relationship. The fact that she knows him so well will assist them to be a great partnership. She is very much one of us, the genuine people's princess. There's everything to like and nothing to dislike. How great is that? And so Prince William and Kate Middleton are engaged to be married in London at some point next year. Buckingham Palace, no doubt, the focus for those celebrations. It is almost 30 years since Prince Charles and Princess Diana emerged onto the steps of St Paul's Cathedral, watched by an astonishing 750 million television viewers worldwide. And now Prince William will lead Kate back down the aisle, the culmination of a love story that has entranced the nation. Rumours of a royal romance first surfaced in 2004 when Kate was photographed skiing with William. The following year there was even speculation about marriage hotly denied by the prince. Prince William, romance clearly in the air here. Uh, could there be another wedding perhaps on the card sometime soon? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. He wasn't ready then, but much has changed in the intervening years. His friends and family have been showing him the way to the altar, one after the other after the other. Now at last, the wedding bells are for him and Kate. For the first time in hundreds of years, the future King of England has chosen a bride not from the aristocracy, but a normal, if very glamorous, middle-class girl from Bucklebury in Berkshire. I think it's very significant that for the first time since 1660, a major member of the royal family who's in line to the throne is marrying a commoner. She's a very sensible, very grounded, uh, poised woman, and uh, she has no hint of aristocratic blood, which of course uh, Lady Diana Spencer and the Queen Mother did, both being daughters of earls. And so this is a big new departure for the royal family. There's less sense of the weight of Burke's peerage or the, um, the European sense of, of royalty mattering. What matters, I think, is that she's capable of becoming queen. Her background is just one aspect of their very modern love story, one that began in the very ancient setting of St Andrews University. William's first day at St Andrews was a big event in the small seaside town. But here, William led something approaching a normal student life. It was the perfect environment for a new relationship to begin. It was at a charity fashion show that Kate first caught William's eye when she walked down the catwalk in a showstopper of a dress. There were sort of one or two sort of dresses that really nobody was particularly keen on wearing. There was one in particular sort of um, semi-transparent, very nice, very flattering dress, but because of the nature of the show, some of the girls weren't sure if they wanted to, to sort of wear it, and, and I said to Katie, would you like to wear this, and, and she sort of said, yeah, fine, you know, no bother at all, and I mean, this particular dress, she looked absolutely beautiful. I think it was, she sort of, she wore something a little bit risque with such dignity, you couldn't help but notice her, um, and so, yes, yeah, so that that was perhaps the time when he really sort of saw her as you know, something a little bit special. I thought she was very nice, very down to earth and just very simple. She really didn't make a fool of herself trying to pretend that she was someone she wasn't. She was very simple and um, just lovely, very likeable. She was just very happy to let us do whatever we wanted to do. It was nice to work with her. Prince William was smitten. Soon, William and Kate had started a love affair, and in their second year, like millions of other students, they shared a flat with two friends in a terraced house in a St Andrews Street, renowned for its parties. Catherine Middleton. 
But if, like all students, they played hard, they also studied hard. Kate will be the first queen to have been to university. William Wales. And there to watch Prince William receive his 2-1, not only his father and stepmother, but also his delighted grandparents. Outside, the Queen congratulated yeah. William. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. was a significant moment in the relationship. <laughs> Kate's first brush with William's family, and she didn't look daunted at all. It was at Sandhurst, at William's passing out parade, that Kate made her first official appearance as Prince William's girlfriend. And while William pounded the parade ground in front of his grandmother, Kate was telling her friends just what she thought of her man. A lip reader revealed her innermost thoughts to be, I love him in uniform, he's so, so sexy. Not a remark you'd often hear in royal circles. Kate already a breath of fresh air in William's closeted world. But while at official engagements, Kate was to some extent protected from press intrusion, there was suddenly interest in every aspect of her life. After she faced this daunting pack of paparazzi on her birthday, her lawyers demanded some respect for her privacy. The parallels with Princess Diana just before her engagement, painfully clear. How well are you coping with all the press attention? Well, as you can, you can see, you can tell. <laughs> are, you, are you bearing up with it quite well, though? Because it must be quite a strain with all of us after you. Well, it is, naturally. William, um, as is somebody that wants to protect his, uh, his girlfriend, and rather, he doesn't want to see the same difficulties that his mother experienced with the media, so he's there doing his best to protect her. Prince William would tell her about the life his mother had, the, the trauma she had, the, the stress she had. The one thing that you could say about Kate, that she would think things through for herself. You know, Diana was, was, wasn't like that. She was kind of, Diana was impetuous. I watched Diana from the very beginning right through to the very end, and I saw the really the rise, the rise, and then the, 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 the demise of this, this, this woman. Let's get after Sandhurst, William joined his regiment, the Blues and Royals. He took to army life with gusto, but Kate was nowhere to be seen. The future of an heir to the throne is mapped out very precisely. Kate's status was far less clear. She was public property, but not yet part of the firm. The realities of royal life had begun to tell on the young couple. They split in April. She carried on as normal, very hurt. And, uh, and I felt, you know, she just conducted herself brilliantly with great dignity. Kate didn't melt into the background, far from it. She joined a team of women training to row the channel and showed William exactly what he was missing. She's a very, very athletic girl. I mean, that's why she ended up steering the boat. She's a real team player, fitted in perfectly from day one. She was just another girl in the boat. There was no difference between her and anyone else, um, except all the cameras <laughs> lurking on the banks of the river. Once William had made that public statement that they were over, she said, well, I'm going to go out and have fun. And I think that's when William suddenly saw these pictures in the newspapers of her leaving nightclubs with quite eligible young men and thought, I've made a bit of a mistake here. By the summer of 2007, rumours of a reconciliation had surfaced. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I've got lots you, of friends you can coming. comment on this one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've got lots of friends coming, so, you know, everyone's going to be there on the night and, and it's going to be a great night, basically. That's so very well avoided, William. Soon, there was no such coyness, and by the time William received his wings from his father at the end of his stint with the RAF, how things had changed. Kate, very much the official girlfriend again, shared jokes with Diana's sister, a measure of just how much she'd been welcomed by all of William's family. Then, for the first time since they'd started their relationship, William and Kate walked out side by side in front of the cameras. The breakup well behind them, Kate had taken up her place at the heart of the royal family. I think the fact that they've um, broken up, of course, and got back together, the fact that they've lived together in the past, the fact that they've really had the kind of modern um, relationship that uh, most people uh, have, is a good thing for the royal family. I think it does uh, bring them into the 21st century in a way that is, uh, is positive. So if this is the relationship that's blown apart the traditional method of choosing a royal bride, a modern romance in every sense, what do we know about the girl who's gone from Bucklebury 
to Buckingham Palace, the girl who will one day call this her home. She is a, a middle-class girl that's been well educated. She was one of the rare, genuine people that you get in this world that don't come along very often. She certainly uh, has, the, has the looks and the, uh, and the presence, and I think that once she becomes an HRH and, and eventually queen, she will have the, uh, the dignity. Mm -hmm.